gaming focused, gamer centric. If you play games, that's your top priority. Man. Ah! Video, photo editing, thumbnail work. You're probably gonna pick this one. Plus, of course, it has the ergo component. Look at the angle I can put on it as well. And now I can recline, no problem. If productivity or workspace is your number one priority, then you're probably gonna wanna pick up this one on the far right. Pizza, look at this. I mean, this is obviously that one. I'm gonna put it over here. We have three very different monitors from LG. You've been locked up for a while. That means you're sitting at the computer. You're looking at a screen for a bunch of different reasons. It's three options. And the reason we're doing all three at once is because LG is sponsoring a giveaway for you guys to actually get one of these monitors. We're gonna give away one of each. The details will be on Twitter. It's just gonna be a tweet. And Willie Do's gonna take care of it as he normally does. And he's taking care of things right now. We're gonna kick it off with the gaming monitor. This one is IPS, it has HDR, it is 1080p, which for gamers is gonna be fine. I'll tell you what, those gamers, they're looking for 240 hertz. I mean, I thought 144 was cool, but it's just, it's not enough anymore. I'm trying to play these hot new titles. I mean, you gotta have black and red, then it's gaming. Fairly uh, portable, USB cable, display port, cable manager, HDMI cable, a CD, ROM? 240 hertz, oh my goodness. Oh, very trim bezel on there as well, check that out. USB, USB, DP in, two HDMIs, DC and a headphone out. Look at that, spring loaded. This guy is a clip, but most, oh, what? Ah. But it's got a portrait ah. for some reason on a gaming monitor. Oh, one of those surround setups. Some people do it with three portrait modes and then ah. blend it together for the surround. He did that back in the day. Done it many times. Or yeah, Twitch chat. That's kind of a cool little feature. And you can see the red accent carries through to the back as well. This is the QHD Ergo, so a little bit more resolution. Wow, that is a serious desk mount. Never thought I'd see the day with the monitor. You don't have to hop on Amazon and order something extra. Screw hole locations as well if you wanna actually put it straight into the wall. Various mounting options, and look at this. You could get that on a, that could go on a thick table. That's my nickname. Yeah, I didn't tighten it up yet. I'm just gonna USB type C HDMI cable, compact disc for Will. You know how people say something is oddly satisfying? Do you think we'll get to a point where we all understand oddly satisfying enough that it's no longer oddly satisfying? It's just satisfying. I think we're there. We're already there. I'm like, no, it's just plain satisfying. Unboxing things is satisfying, not oddly satisfying. Everyone agrees. Get this set up, this ball joint here, and the amount of adjusted, what can this, this goes up and down. Also appears to have some pretty cool cable management on the back. And as you can see with the monitor mounted over here, you can get it pushed up pretty far back against the wall. You know what I'm saying? You can't see, you can't see it. I got you. Secure on there now. Mm. Ooh, there's your Type-C upstream connector. That'll give you access, of course, to these two USB ports so you can use it as a hub. And DP, two HDMIs again, power and a headphone port. Wow. You know, I've been in this game for a while and it's always, you pick up a third party mount and you're so excited and then it never kind of gives you the flush thing because you have screws and a weird plate on the back. This look right here, I mean, that's about, that's as clean looking as you're gonna get with this level of adjustability. No weird looking plate on the back and it's right out of the box so you know it works and you know it's all set up for the right amount of weight because it's coming direct from the manufacturer. Tremendous adjustability here. Look at this thing. Look at this look right here. It's like floating. This is the look people want. Very clean. Very nice. I like it. If he likes it, I mean, he likes nothing. Yeah. 
Uh, How dare you? For the coders. This is the ergo, oh, man. Yeah. How dare you? I'm into it. I, I gotta say. I don't know. I'm, I'm into weird things. This is one of those things. I like to adjust my monitor this way or this way. That's way beyond what you would typically get on these angles either. I want to lean back in a seat. Now I can recline no problem. This type C connector is capable of delivering power as well. At 60 watts, you'd have to figure out if your laptop is okay with strictly 60 watts, but otherwise, yeah, it can deliver some pretty decent power. It also has two five watt speakers inside of it as well. This one is also color calibrated straight out the gate. That must be why they're calling that the creator's monitor. You notice how I'm pointing this knife today, Kirk? So I'm backing away. This is what they're calling the work from home model. And maybe that's just because it has the most screen real estate to get real work done. So the first monitor, the 240 Hertz G-Sync monitor is running 400 bucks. This one is on B&H right now. I think it's pre-order actually for around 460. So they're in the same territory price-wise. Power bricks, an extension cable, HDMI cable, C cable as well. So that's, look at how, wow, that's a slim and trim, I'll tell you what. Here's to have, don't worry, I got the monitor, don't worry. Now the nice thing when you go with ultra wide or the reason you, you wanna have it a little bit curved is because it's starting to span into your peripheral vision section, similar to a dual monitor setup. So having a slight curve to it allows those far reaches to come a little bit more into your direct vision. Yeehaw. You're gonna have a type C connector, 60 watt power delivery once again, display port, two HDMI, a headphone out, and then two USB ports. Boom, there we have it. The selection is now yours. One monitor to rule them all, one monitor in your setup, one monitor on your desk. Would it be the 34 inch ultra wide with the highest resolution 3440? Would it be creator's monitor as LG likes to call it? This one with the fancy stand minimal appearance or is it maximum refresh with the fps and the rest of it let's hook these up let's get willie do on the mouse and the keys see what he can do all right the monitors are hooked up now got a hefty pc hooked up to this uh, 240 hertz monitor. What frame rate can we achieve here? Do we even know? Do, can we turn on? Can we look? Oh! Three, 334? It's all about Clear peaking standing. in this one. Oh! Oh! Two kills. Oh yeah, not bad. I'll take it. All right, yeah. let me go. I'm coming for you. Well, you just gotta click the heads, okay? Oh, yes! When it comes to monitors, there are no easy choices in life. They serve different purposes, and that's why you have the selection that you have here, and that's why you have a chance to win one of these. Would you take the gaming monitor? Would you take the slick design package in the center? Or the screen res champ of the bunch, the ultra wide? Let me know which one you like best, and then head over to my Twitter. There'll be a tweet. All you have to do is retweet it for your chance to win. And Willie Do, as usual, will hook you up. Good luck. I don't know, I'm split. I'm kind of split. In fact, for me, I will probably go with a dual of this one. Right here, two stacks clamped onto the table, fully adjustable. I think a dual setup of this would be ideal.